What it do, baby? I'm Tyson for free. I'm an artist from St. Louis, Missouri. I mean, Missouri. Oh, my bad. And today, I'm going to talk about what music I listen to when I'm doing art, how it relates, etc., etc. Feel free to use this video as music recommendation if you see songs or artists you've never heard of and listen to it. Before we start, I got some disclaimers. Um, first off, I actually have a script this time, so I'm not just stuttering most of my videos i just go off the dome but you know i'm done going off the dome i want to have some some something to reference okay also i'm not trying to brag or anything you know this is just my music taste so what fits me is perfectly fine for me most of the people who i show music to though they say they enjoy my recommendation so just putting that out there also this is not a direct correlation of what type of music i listen to per se this is really just what type of music I listen to when I'm doing art. So I listen to a bunch of stuff, okay? But there's certain music that I like to listen to when I am drawing and, and other stuff. So that's why um, there's only gonna be a small portion of music, but my catalog on Spotify is really big. I listen to a wide range of music. I'm not gonna list a whole playlist or anything, but I will go through some of my favorite genres and a few of my favorite songs to listen to for certain periods of arting. Arting, art history, when I'm doing the art, basically. So, let's start with sketching. When I'm sketching, I need to be listening to old school hip hop instrumentals. Very necessary for me. When I think of drawing on paper, line paper, just getting some warm up sketches in, I need to hear those OG hi hats and drum patterns, more specifically instrumentals, okay? Spotify has an amazing playlist called Go Instrumental Beats that has a fire variety of instrumentals at your disposal. I would also add a bit of Nuja Bees, all right? I don't know if y'all know who Nuja Bees is. He's a goat, okay? Add some Nuja Bees to this playlist, you know? Although it's not old school hip hop, his selection of instrumentals mesh well with these. I feel most relaxed when I'm listening to this playlist, which I feel you should be when sketching, period, because sketching is kind of like a downtime type of um, art. So it's perfect. Now, for when I'm working on a full illustration. I actually have two specific artists that I listen to for this, that being J. Cole and Kanye. The albums I listen to are a mixture of Born Center and For Your Eyes Only from J. Cole, and a mixture of Graduation and My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy with a dab of Life of Pablo from Kanye. Cause I mean, come on, Pablo Picasso, I'm an artist. It makes sense. Born Center and Graduation are basically my childhood. And that's when I was little, I would draw on random pieces of paper a lot and just correlate these albums to those memories. Four Your Eyes Only and Life of Pablo came out while I was in high school and I was going to an art school. I remember specifically listening to Life of Pablo while taking graphic novel and me and my homeboy Matias were literally listening to it in Mr. Mancuso's math class during lecture. My bad, Mr. Mancuso. Uh, I appreciate you. Um, it also helps that I'm working on my own graphic novel at the moment, so there's some correlation with that. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy actually has a splur of some of my favorite Kanye songs, so there's that. And in fun trivia, the cover art for Graduation was done by one of my favorite artists, Murakami Takashi, so there's another reason why. Alright, next up though, we got graphic design work. Now, I do illustrations and stuff, but sometimes I work on personal graphics, either for myself or others. And when I do, it's normally at night. And so I listen to a mixture of Hiatus Coyote and Kendrick Lamar, more specifically, Damn. I just mysteriously found Hiatus and just fell in love. It just makes me feel so creative, which is really necessary when doing graphic design. Damn came out around the time our school got a graphic design program, funny enough. If I find them drawings I did, I'll post them on the screen right now. But I remember doing a lot of Kendrick fan art on Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator. Just two good vibes. You know, their music actually messes pretty well together if you put them in a playlist, mix it around and stuff like that. Next up, we got commissions. For commissions, I listen to KP Kano, Boss, and some random rock and alternative music. KP is actually my close bro and was the first... I think he was the first person I did, music artist that I did an album cover for. Actually, I've done basically all of his cover arts, now that I think about it. I listen to all of his music. His selection is fire. Go listen to KP Kano. I won't say it again. Obviously, Boz dropped Milky Way last year. 
that was amazing but too high to riot got me through some things in high school bro and when i'm going through stuff i overproduce art and as a way to cope and so there's that correlation right there as far as rock and alternative music not gonna lie i listen to fifa 14 soundtrack don't ask why but i do okay they got some fire just listen to it they got a, some fire alternative and some fire rock music listen to it you will thank me later next up for painting i listen to rap more specifically lil wayne carter three smino what a time to be alive and i am over i was by 21 savage i feel like rap helps me maneuver my wrist better carter three is just my childhood all right what a time to be alive was high school and I am over I was was is college a neat combination of all three of those time periods Smino got that rap that just make you dance I don't care where you at you could be in the car driving and Smino come on you gonna dance behind the wheel you might be giving birth Smino come on the baby gonna come out dancing that's just how nice his selection is all right my favorite song by him is Coupe Earn, but Noir is by far his best project in my opinion my opinion okay now as a bonus um this is for when i'm making art with some meaning behind it maybe some political maybe some moral poetic whatever the case may be i listen to 70s 80s and 90s japanese pop bro this genre meshes with all of my music dog and although i don't listen to specific artists um well uh, uh tatsuro yamashita is probably one of my favorites but this makes me feel good like like the, just how upbeat in it, it is like and I like feeling good when I'm working on anything so this right here versatile now honorable mentions are Toro Imoy and Steve Lacey and the reason they're not on here is because when I listen to them I cannot focus on my art I actually have to dance or I have to sit down and listen to them okay sorry I just can't get I just can't chill you know what I'm saying I have to move so there you go another honorable mention is the Sonic Adventure 2 soundtrack. Again, dance too much, especially for this soundtrack, but still fun. You know, Pumpkin Hill, it's my crack. Everything I listed here is available on Spotify, and I'm only mentioning Spotify because that's all I use, but I'm pretty sure you can find it on Apple Music too, and at most YouTube or SoundCloud. Really made this video because it seemed fun. It was fun to make, and I, I I think there's like a consensus where like if depending on what type of art you're doing at the time it correlates with you know the the genre of music you're listening to when you're doing it which is not really the case like I'll be painting and be listening to and I know I know people who like paint and they don't just listen to like orchestra and stuff like that orchestra go crazy opera go crazy but like there's not not everybody you know does that when they're painting you know what I'm saying like there's people who paint and be listening to some hard metal or some you know some upbeat rap like and so I just wanted to make a video like this so people know that your music taste doesn't have any correlation to your artwork sometimes sometimes you just feeling you just feeding for some type of music at the time that you working on something that's just what it is you know what i'm saying so that's why i made this video we at the end of the video now so y'all don't have to leave but i'm gonna just go ahead and say i'm making more videos on the daily okay and that's it uh y'all can leave now like and subscribe if you want to and i'm about to jump out this window